Okay, so you haven't planned for the eclipse and we're getting to crunch time, so what do you do? Well, one of the things, one of my favorite things to do is use photo pills. And if I go into photo pills right now, you can see I'm on a map of the United States, but Rob, I don't have a, the eclipse on there, no problem. You just scroll over to the eclipse module and click on the double circles there and you'll see every eclipse that's coming up press on the April 8th eclipse and now you can see the path from Mexico all the way through to Canada and that is on April 8th what the eclipse path is going to be now you just have to find a location somewhere on there in order to shoot and closer to the blue line the better but notice I'm on the wrong date and the wrong time so I'm gonna fix that by double clicking on the clock and now I'm on today so you can see in my location in southern Arizona and I want to go where I'm going to shoot so I'm gonna put in Latham Springs Baptist Retreat where we're doing our Eclipse workshop and once it comes up I am going to click on that and it will take me right to my location click on Latham Springs and I zoom in to the uh, shooting location now I'm gonna have to zoom out and I'm not on the right time so I'm gonna fix that I'm going to double click on the time that brings up the time module I'm gonna switch the date to April 8th and I'm gonna switch the time to just before the eclipse so I think I'm gonna go to 12 o'clock and now I'm on the right time so click done with that done again and you can see I'm just before the eclipse I'm gonna zoom out so you can see our location and that blue line is center line and as you can see we're pretty much right in the heart of the eclipse uh, north of Waco Texas great spot to be so now I want you to notice something if you notice that blue box on the eclipse module the yellow circle represents the sun and that half circle that you see in there is the moon so you can see c1 c2 totality and then c3 and c4 right in that module it's a great tool to have and now if you notice that blue circle which represents the moon as i scroll forward on the timeline little trick if you hold down on the timeline you'll get a, a slower scroll and I'm gonna go to 1220 which is when it sends the eclipse starts and now notice that the yellow and the blue circles are touching that is C1 um, and that is the beginning of the eclipse so if I keep on scrolling notice how the blue circle is encroaching on the Sun meaning the moon is encroaching on the Sun in other words we're in partial eclipse and as it keeps going you can see getting closer to totality on the timeline and we get to about 138 and we're in totality and notice that that corresponds with what it shows in the module but we have to remember this time it's very important because 137 is when transition begins and about 30 seconds later is when we have to shoot our transition brackets and now the moon is leaving the sun and the eclipse is ending and you have successfully planned for your shoot.